Hello everyone. Xenon's in here. You want me to lead? Welcome to the next episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Nightfall. I'm impressed. You didn't run away this time. Uh. I'll explain what comes next. The rest of you are dismissed. Stay cool, Kite. I'm always cool. Tell us about Agnes's movements. Right now, they're assembling their forces on Everblight Plain. They've stopped concealing themselves, which feels like cause for concern enough. They're confident they have the numbers for a full assault, then. Or perhaps it's a feint. Or they're just a bunch of dolts who like pretending they have a plan. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for jokes right now. Hey, we need a little levity sometimes. With enough food, we can draw this out. Give the word and we can even launch a raid. I told you, that's not going to happen. It would cost us too many lives. What then? Our troops are hungry, anxious, and quite frankly, more pissed off by the hour. You leave things like this, and we're going to fall apart by ourselves. We could just remove their reason for fighting you. What? In plain language, please. If we smashed your flame clock, it would alter the equation. If you smashed it? Uh, what? Well, now I know you're all jokers. Kite, biggest joker of all. This is why Kite always runner-up in life. No one can take serious with hopeless second-best attitude. Shut it, Riku. You, you really know how to hit a man when he's down, don't you? Why are you back here, anyhow? How'd you worm your way back into Zeon's favor? Meh. No worming performed. We don't need you here. I've had enough of seeing my friends die. Betray me. I can't deal with this dirt anymore. We feel just the same. Which is why we want to do as much as we possibly can to help. That's why we came back. Yeah. You're not fooling anybody. You need not believe them, but they will prove to be an asset. Huh. So that's it. You're siding with them in the end. You choose Noah over your own lieutenant. Again. That's not what I'm saying. Don't you realize how hard I'm trying here? Ugh! Spot this! Sorry. I didn't mean to complicate matters. On the contrary, was this not your intent? I would have thought you'd be gloating by now. We can gloat if it makes you feel better, but you can't just judge someone in the heat of the moment. Whatever you might think, suspicion will be cast upon you. That is all I can say. Suspicious or not, isn't it about time you tell us this plan of yours? You said we'd prove to be an asset. I'll continue. Though we have a geographical advantage, our provisions and numbers are limited. That's what the enemy will be banking on. And that's where you come in, as the Vanguard. Our sudden appearance will put a spanner in their works, and that'll give you the edge you need, right? Seeing Keves and Agnes Bods fighting together and tearing up their front lines gonna throw them off their game for sure. So we've got to fight independently, then? Better than being on a leash, I suppose. You seem to misunderstand. I'm not cutting you loose. You are still being regarded as traitors. Keep in mind that I shall be supervising your every action personally. Sir, yes, sir, Commander, sir. Do you have to? Let it go, guys. I'll send details of the operation to your iris. The plan will commence at once. We're on it. Show Zeon what we're made of. 
I expect great things from you, former Special Forces Lance. We'll be arriving presently. Uni? Just feeling wistful. This is where we went looking for fortune clovers, isn't it? Oh, yeah! You really made a big deal out of that. Did not. Just wanted to wish upon one. All the others laughed in my face. Said I'd never find one here. Everyone but you guys and Zeon. You must remember, you're not the kind of guy who makes fun of people when they're trying their hardest. You help people in need. <clears throat> Listen, I know you've been through all sorts of crap, but you don't know the whole story. Oh, I'm sure. There is no such thing as a traitor who rebels without cause. Be it Kevis or Agnes. You've sent many of my comrades off. No. Time and time again, you saved the dead. Help survivors. Even me. I know you do not make light of people's lives. So you understand? I do. But I can never be the friend to you that I once was. You don't give a century, do you? I wasn't talking to you, Lance. Excuse me? Maybe we can't go back to the old days. But we can build something new. Leave your platitudes for after. The battlefield awaits. Don't worry. We'll win. No one's dying on our watch. Never again. Time to move. Stay sharp. There's a lot of them. This will be a battle of attrition. We can use the terrain for defensive advantage. First, we need to hurt their morale. Before that, we need to talk. I'll remain here and fight for as long as I stand. That's also part of the plan. It will be a grueling fight. I won't have time to be looking out for possible deserters. Hold on. Are you telling us to find a chance to escape? I never said that. But this battle should be of little importance to you. Spock's sake, Zeon! Just how rotten do you think we are? I see where you're coming from. But we're fighting on our own terms. We'll be seeing this through. We owe a debt to Colony 9. Maybe it wasn't for very long, but it gave us somewhere to belong. But not anymore. Just shut it, you! How hard is it for you to accept someone just wants to do a good deed? Eh? Get a clue! Lance! How often does he need telling not to abandon himself to his feelings? Have you given in? <laughs> Still, might as well strike while the iron's hot. Wait, 
We're going to go to 700. Yeah. I'm not. Definitely. Nope, we didn't get to the 700. We got close though.
Ouroboros doing here? I did not sign up for this. Want us to run him down? We aren't here to kill each other. Pull back now, and we won't pursue you. I'll bet you won't, because you'll be dead. Let me see. Always keep your ace in reserve. That's how the game's played. Uh. Don't falter. We have Kite and the others holding the fort. Yeah, and we'll hold the line here. Whatever it takes.
I'm done. Squad leader's been hit! Pull back! Why aren't you following them? I told you. I don't want needless slaughter. You're soft, rookie commander. Let me tell you something. You don't win wars while keeping your hands clean. You're gonna learn that. The hard way. You'll see. I guess we will. Don't let it get to you. I wouldn't normally, but in this instance, I'm afraid he struck a chord. I believe I said something similar to you in the past. We were sparring with training swords. You won in the end. I did, because you always held back. That's not true. You hated the very idea of fighting. That's how it seemed to me. And back then, I thought you'd never survive with that lofty idea. I was blind. If we don't stand for something greater, strife and conflict will grow ever fiercer. We would end up fighting not for the flame clock, but for our own bloodlust. That is who we are. It was never going to be easy. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out what's right myself. But there's something I want to change. And to do that, I have to change myself. <laughs> the kite and the others pull through okay. It seems we've averted disaster. For now. Not quite. There's still unfinished business. Zeon, I want you to understand the things we've seen. The truth about the flame clocks. Just let us explain. After that, we'll let you have the final say. As you wish. It also saves us an awkward silence on the way back. But don't get your hopes up. That's fine. Thank you. I'll round up everyone in the square. But first, to Colony 9. Travel to that. Ah, that's clever. watching from the sidelines, and I must say, it was quite a spectacle. Hmm. In what way? Bed pun. I forget, you drones have no aesthetic sense. Your droll skirmish was one thing. It almost put me to sleep, but this here... Well, I'd say the colony is due a promotion. I recall no droll skirmish. The one where these maggots surfaced. Loads of little worms plotting together with Agnes, then deserting their duty like the cowards they are. Truly disgusting. A disgrace to the colony. And that goes for the ones who croaked for nothing, too. Even calling that droll is a disservice to the word. Croaked for nothing? 
I know you see us as enemies. But this, it's our friends you're talking about. Even Wamba. Back then, how dare you! Silence, maggots! He must still be tired from fighting. Rejoice then! You will give me great pleasure as I crush you! What do you think you're doing? The words of an idle man who orders others around. Or the words of rebels who risk their lives for us. Which do you think is worth more? Silence! This is insubordination. We want to live. That is why we fight. Prepare yourself, Consul B. Why, you? Good for nothing, imbecile! All defectors must be eradicated! Zeon! Yes. Let's go! Mobius B. Down. I'm sorry, everyone. 
go.
platform. Clencher.
It's futile, you know. You won't change anything. You think you have a future? Well, you don't. Only suffering and despair. Even so, the choice is mine. Lay things out for me here, Commander. Our console's a monster. Our flame clock's busted. We still don't have enough food to go round. I have to ask, what's the point of all this? We succeeded, though not quite the way I'd hoped. Now then, listen. You, you can't be serious! Then what? It was all a sham! So it would appear. For that reason, we need to learn as much as we can... ...about ourselves... ...and about the world outside. Oh! Is that everything? And while eating shoe leather? If need be... ...whatever the outcome may be... Only we can change it. I believe that. We'll help you out too. Not because we're looking for your acceptance, but just so everyone can live. So please, let us further your goal. I know you still have doubts, but won't you give them a chance? I confess, I'm still a bit dazed by these developments. But... I could let them off. Yeah, same. The Commander's never quite been this insistent. If Mwamba were here... ...I think he'd have agreed much sooner. Friends... Well, I'm still not buying it. The one to make the call... ...should be me. I should decide. Nobody else. I'll prove it. The only one fit to be commander is me. We're gone. Man, way to go off on one. Kite, he just worries for the colony. He will come round eventually. So, what's the word now, boss? First, I want to solve the food shortage. What, you mean by taking long hikes? It'll be tough without anything nearby. That was the case up until now. Myself? I'll try it the other way. What way? We'll make fields. Our own food supply. Grown with our own hands. When he says fields, does he mean like that bit in the textbook? When food is scarce, one may till the soil and plant glitter radishes. You always know your stuff. Obviously. I see. It was difficult to find time before, since you had to worry about the flame clock. Yes, but not any longer. <laughs> you giving it a go, then? There will be toil, but we'll try. Then, start by observing the vegetation. It's not just soldiers that want to survive out here. You're sure to learn something. I understand. We'll try that. Oh, and... If you're ever in need of my support, just call on me. I'll help. That's appreciated, but... Are you really sure? If you truly want to change something, you must start with the South. I believe you said that. Still, some folks aren't gonna like you when you're panning around with us lot. It doesn't matter what they think of me. What truly matters is whether I carry out my duty. Zeon, you haven't changed at all. Sarcasm. 
at this stage? Not at all. I was just thinking that you're still the same old friend from back then. You've gained away with words. I see. Perhaps people can change. Wow, ouch. <laughs> you gave us strength. Thank you. Thank you. Quest complete. I will find it in my heart to trust you. Yeah, no, you're not gay. You're not getting that for a while. We're going up and we should probably eat something. Characters. No heroes. I'm going to switch I'm in. Valdi, because healing's better right now. Oh, once Flash Fencer is done, I'll probably switch him to the fence. Oh, finally! Everyone can use... Ah, not everyone can use War Medic, though. Well, not everyone can use Flash Fencer, either. So I'll probably move Tyon and Uni back to healing duty once everything's settled. The well. Those are the Levnesses, your colony pilots, Noah. And we will end this episode with climbing. If it loads. Uh, hey, get a load of this. No. I'm actually curious. Ah, so I can use knock on coins just to do that. That'd be. Hey! Get a load of this! Yippee! Rock climbing! This should make for a great workout. Sure! Let's stay on the lookout for more walls to climb, yeah? Raybell, Tableland. That's funny. I'd never noticed that before. Oh, do they not have our moves where you're from? Yeah, I meant getting old. Is that what that is? <laughs> it's called getting old, this. That smaller Amu over there. It starts little, but grows over time. Becomes like the bigger one. All the creatures do it. But we never change that much. Ah. Huh. It's such a basic fact. So why haven't we realized it before?
Realization leads to hope, which in due time turns to despair. The significance of the stasis is driven ever deeper within. A moment in time, a sublime experience. That brilliance, it shines ascendant over all else. That's why it takes so much freaking work. Working stinks. They all learn sooner or later. They learn how priceless it was, how grossly irreplaceable. The eclipse grows near. They get along nice. Must be good friends. It's funny. Just looking at these guys. It puts your mind at ease. Mm. Is it an effect of becoming Ouroboros? Good question. Still, I think I could get used to this. Yeah. Me too. Hear that? Well, with that, next time on Xenoblade Chronicles, it's good to keep a record. Three. We will uh, continue on our adventure and hopefully get the Sword March. Xenon and Zimmer, signing out.